Wayward Pines is this really interesting mixture of all of my favorite shows ever, like The X-Files, Twilight Zone, Lost, Twin Peaks, The Prisoner. It's all there. Where am I? Here in Wayward Pines. Citizens of Wayward, we are truly blessed. This is what every writer dreams of when they finish a book. What would it look like for these characters to live and breathe on film, in TV, and it's surreal, and it hasn't gotten any less surreal as the process has unfolded. Tell us, how did it come about that your Wayward Pines series has become a TV show? Well, we ended up selling the book, uh, Pines, my first novel, before it was published, and we attached M. Night Shyamalan as the director of the pilot episode and an executive producer. We shot in Vancouver. They built this amazing exterior uh, in this town called Agassiz, which is about an hour east of Vancouver. They built all these little shops that I had created in this book. They built the coffee shop, they built the beer garden, they built this theater with big pines uh, on the facade and they, these incredible interior locations on sound stages. And it was just amazing to walk through like the sheriff station and to see all these props and every little thing that was designed to help build and express this world. Do not try to leave. Do not discuss the past. It was actually very emotional first time I walked on set. The first set I visited was the uh, sheriff's office, Sheriff Pope, the interior. And they had this little snow globe that was sitting on the desk. And it was like, oh my God, that is amazing. Because I had written about the snow globe in the book. In fact, it was the first image I had when I started writing Weird Pines. It was the town itself in a snow globe, which is very um, kind of metaphoric for what Wayward Pines actually is. So to see the snow globe actually in the flesh on this desk, and I thought, that's amazing. I would love to have that. And when we wrapped production, they sent me this box, and I opened it, and it was the snow globe. Are there any major differences between the TV show and the books that fans can look for? One of the really cool differences is in the book Wayward, I briefly allude to the idea of the school in Wayward Pines. In the TV show, we make a much bigger deal of the school. And in fact, uh, an ancillary character in the book, Megan Fisher, becomes this larger-than-life teacher in the show, played by Hope Davis, and I think people are going to love it. Our cast is amazing. Matt Dillon plays Ethan Burke, uh, the Secret Service agent and the protagonist of the books, the hero of the show. Uh, his partner is Carla Gugino. She plays Kate Hewson. Uh, Sheriff Pope is played by the great Terrence Howard. Melissa Leo plays Nurse Pam. She just kills it. And Toby Jones plays David Pilcher, and it's a dream cast. What was your reaction to seeing Matt Dillon portraying this character that you had in your head? It was interesting because I think Matt brought a lot of humor to the role, which I, I really didn't think I had written into the book, but he found these moments. Hello. You must kill the man in front of you. Tell him, marketer. He has a very unconventional rhythm to the way he acts. He doesn't, he's not just this total intensity all the time action hero. He, he brought this nice subtlety to the role. And what about Juliette Lewis? Oh, she's fantastic. She plays Beverly, the bartender. They're trying to break your mind. Um, and she has, I think, a very interesting exit of this show, which is all I'll say. Have you watched the entire series of your TV show yet? I've watched the entire series many, many times, because when you're in post-production, you're watching multiple cuts of a given episode and you're giving notes on it. So yes, I've watched the show like 60 times. I think everything you love about the books uh, are gonna be in the television show. You're gonna see the fence. You're gonna see what is beyond the fence. And without giving spoilers, if you read the books, you know what I'm talking about and they're horrifying. You're gonna see all of this beautiful landscape that surrounds Wayward Pines just brought to vivid life. How do I get out of here? You don't.